What's up guys, my name is Phil. Welcome back to Miranda Detailing. Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the new MacShine 15 Pro Green. Oh, let me get these things out of my ears. I'm using these little earbuds as sound deadening devices basically, but I can also listen to my music in here. So I'm gonna take them out for now because I can't hear anything. So the new MacShine M15 Pro G or G for green. Pretty awesome looking, right? I love this thing. So thank you to MacShine for sending out the polisher. And I also got a nice uh, double rack for the polisher to hold it on the wall here that I'll show you in a moment. But let's talk about this thing. This is their pro level 15 millimeter. And I actually prefer the 15 millimeter as opposed to the, the 21s. I've, I've used the 21s before from Rupes and they are nice. They're smooth, they're nice, but I just prefer the five and a half inch pads. So that's just me, that's just personal preference. That's just what I like. So this thing is very, very powerful. It is a thousand watt machine. It has some really nice features like this variable trigger. Look at that, it is so smooth. There's no click action at all. It's just a smooth variable trigger. When you press on it slowly, it goes slow. And I have it cranked all the way up to six on the dial. So this really nice large readout, this dial here but the variable speed trigger is very, very handy. So if you want to slow it down a little bit on the fly, instead of touching that knob. Woo! Yeah, that I really like. That's a very nice feature. Um, everything just feels very tight and uniform on the polisher as well. I love the, the nice grip here, the rubber grip on the head. All in all, it just feels like a very nice, sturdy, professional polisher. Now, granted, because of its high wattage, it does vibrate a little bit, and it's a tad louder than the Rupes, but, you know, that's going to be expected. It's a very powerful machine. That's why I have the little earbuds. Um, it's good to have those in when you're working, polishing around the vehicle anyway. So, plus you can listen to your music. So, um, I noticed that it does have some sort of a washer mod in it because it doesn't hit the backing plate, that little rubber backing plate back here. So it spins nice and free. And what we're working on right now is an Audi S5. And it's not in for a paint enhancement or correction or coatings or anything like that. It's really just in for a wash decon and sealant, but it has some pretty nasty water spots. So we polished the whole hood out and um, we were able to reduce those water spots so that about maybe 10% is left of the little etching. If you want to go further, you could wet sand, but that's not what this is, uh, you know, called for in this job. But let me show you the water spots here and then show you what we're using to remove it with the Max Shine polisher. So the hood looked like this. It would have these little pock marks, these water spots, and they're really not necessarily water spots. They're more just etching from tree sap and tree gunk. I have this on my Avalon as well. So it's not just uniform water spots. These are very specific you know, little sap etchings that have hit the paint and etched into it, unfortunately. So let's work our way over and I'll show you what we're using. We're using the Epic Medium Duty Compound. Love this stuff. We're using the Meguiar's Microfiber Finishing Pad, not the cutting pad, but the finishing pad because it does have slightly less cut, but a nicer finish. I was using the hybrid solution stuff, but it just didn't have enough cut. And that's okay, That's that's actually basically uh, what I was expecting. We would need to go up to a higher cut to be able to get those nasty water spot etchings off. So I'm going to brush the pad and just put on a few dots of the medium duty compound. Three piece size drops, just like that. I'm gonna put these guys back in because it's loud. All right, so let's hit this spot here.
Now that's with the variable trigger. I locked it, but then I, I'm able to adjust the speed. That's a nice feature. I really like that. It's very smooth, very well balanced. Whoa. Oh yeah. That's nice. Okay guys, so that did an amazing job. Those water spots are pretty much gone. There's just little, little outline. I can barely even see it now. I can't really catch it in the light. You can see the before over here. You can definitely see those water spots there. Some other ugly ones right there. But here, yep, they're all gone. Great. So as we move along, the vehicle we're going to polish the top here as well i just have this section and that little section left to do all the sides were fine there's no spots like that but look at the glass it does have a more uniform water spotting so as we go into the paint here we'll also hit the glass i already did that side and it looks amazing so let's finish up into this and we'll show you what it looks like after So now, check that out. The spots, wherever they are, they're gone now. Oh, there it is, just a little bit left. A little bit of a puck mark left. Down here, let's see. Tiny bit of a puck mark left here. But really, really reduced, really difficult to see. It's right about there. So not bad, right? That we can live with. The top area here looks really nice. And now the water spots on the glass, drastically reduced. Could probably hit this a little bit more, but that is acceptable for what we're doing on this vehicle. So what are my thoughts on the MacShine M15 Pro Green? I like it, I really do like it. When it comes to polishers, everybody's gonna have their favorites, their likes, their dislikes. I am used to the Rupes first generation Mark 15, the LHR Mark 15, Mark 15, the Mark 1, 15 millimeter, LHR, all these numbers and letters. My brain gets confused. So I am used to that polisher. That's what I started really doing full paint corrections with, and I love that thing. This thing, huge upgrade. It's still 15 millimeter, but the power is incredible. And I really love the nice, smooth, variable trigger. That is awesome, I love that. So basically I just crank this all the way up to six and pretty much for compounding, polishing, especially compounding, I just crank it right up and I get to cutting. And for polishing, I'll put it down to four or so. Another really cool thing about the backing plate, I'll show you up close, is it can kind of self cool. See these little holes? They actually go in each of these little holes here they will go all the way through. Do so you see that? All the way out to here. So as it's spinning, it's kind of creating a fan type of motion. And uh, that way it will actually cool the pad a little bit more. So that's a very cool um, addition to this backing plate and to the machine. Really cool feature of it. So again, guys, I'm very happy with it. If you're in the market for an affordable yet powerful professional grade polisher, this could be it. 
So I'll have links for it down below if you wanna check it out. If you don't and you're happy with your polisher, that's fine. Hopefully you're just watching the video just to kind of get an overview of what this polisher is all about and what it can do. So I'm gonna continue using it for all my paint enhancements, corrections, and all of that. I still have a variety of polishers that I use. Now my wife is polishing, so she started using this and she likes it also, but she also likes her cordless polisher from SPTA, which is awesome. So for all of the major companies out there, MacShine, I'm sure you're probably working on a cordless polisher. When you do, I would love to get my hands on that and test it because I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, share with others who may enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. That way you get notifications and you don't miss stuff. Thank you guys for watching. I gotta get finishing on this vehicle. We'll see you guys later. Next time on Miranda Detailing. All right, enough playing around. Let's get to work. Thank you.